Hello Aries, getting ready to do your reading. This is for mid-August. We'll see what is showing up for you. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus messages for Aries, please, and thank you. What is that? What's, what's come out the world? So it could be end of a cycle. I'm not going to take it, but we'll keep that in mind because it's probably going to be important, but it didn't fall out yet. So what is the overall energy for Aries? Sorry, I know you can't see them when I shuffle them on my knee. Okay. Eight of Wands, positive communication or moving forward. You have your energy in your energy, and they have the Ten of Wands. Okay, interesting. Under the deck is the Six of Swords. So there definitely may be a cycle situation, something that's come to a close, and then now it's time to leave, move on, make changes. Uh, yeah, because look at it, it's under here. Maybe somebody was thinking you would stay or take their cup, and you don't want it, and that's why they're so overwhelmed and depressed right now, or you know, feeling burdened. We'll see. Okay, what is going on with the Eight of Wands for Aries? Five of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Coins. Okay, um, you're under the deck here too. Wow, Temperance. World Temperance. All right, so there could definitely be... That's both work and relationship, though it could be working. Some, it's like you may get notice that you're going to get something you've been waiting for. Some of you maybe it's work, some of you maybe it's a relationship. But communication is coming in. So that's good news, it looks like to me. So something is, is changing here also for you that's going to probably prompt you to make a make a big change in your life. Or, you know what I mean? I don't want to say move, but something. So what is the Queen of Wands energy? You have the Knight of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Okay. So it could be you didn't want somebody's cup, now they're sad. Or someone didn't want your cup, and so now you're sad, but you're walking away. Either way, we have the Eight of Cups here for you. So what is the Ten of Wands for them? Strength, the Three of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Could be an air sign. Could be a fire sign. We have fire sign coming out in the cold, and then he could be pissy, become like kind of cold, or this is an air sign coming in. I'm going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune for this person. Could be a Leo specifically. It looks like things may change for them, though. Even though they don't want to see you go, they may be overwhelmed. What is the Wheel of Fortune? What's coming in for this person? Let's do one more. There we go. Okay, the Queen of Cups. One more, please. Holding on. There could be someone else. Now, again, hang on. Four swords. Four coins, four swords. Okay. Two of coins. There might be, for some of you, a, a water sign or a third person involved that, that you do know about. This person may be staying with that one person or and um, trying to get to you, or they may be going back to that person. Now, they may, if there's no water sign, if there's no third person, they see you as like their, their love. They may see you as being emotional. They may see you as like heartbroken, and so that's why you're leaving, and they were not expecting this, or something like that, because they're holding on four of coins, or you are in four stores not taking action. If there's a third person involved in this reading for some of you, they don't really like that person though. I'm not saying like they love this person. It's like, it's like, I just got like a whoopee, which I guess is a blanket. It's like, you know, when a child or a person like that's their comfort. So they keep going back to that person or something possibly. Okay. Why is this all happening or what else do we need to know? Knight of Cups. What is the Knight of Cups energy? We have the Four of Cups again. No, I'm sorry, that's the first Four of Cups. I just felt like someone's not taking a cup here. The Nine of Cups and then the Ten of Cups. Oh, see, a lot of times this is why this whole thing is going down. Was there someone else involved but that person's no longer in the picture? Is it this Queen of Cups? Is it a third person? I have to say this because they're telling, saying, someone, for someone that, that's their mom. The Queen of Cups is their mom. Okay, uh, probably not most of you, or, or them, but um, I don't know why. It was kind of like, a, like that's the kind of the scenario they gave me. So maybe the codependency somewhere, not on necessarily on their mother, but just this person may have some codependency problems. They may be codependent on you, but... Okay, I'm going to backtrack and go to the Eight of Cups, because it looks like you're walking away. Nine of Cups, yeah, hair font and a Nine of Swords, but you're worried. Okay, fool. Okay, Look what's under the deck. Okay, I have to just stop and say, you guys, you have some really good news coming in here. The mid, mid month, um, end of month, whatever. It's something you've been waiting for. It does look like it's related to love. 
and it looks like something that could be making you very, very, very happy. You may be a little bit worried or nervous. I don't know if you're worried about this new opportunity because it could be work related or you're worried about leaving this person behind or something. Either way, whatever it is, don't stress. It's meant to be. Keep going. What is this ace, eight of coins energy? Five of cups, five of swords, five of wands. So there's changes. Maybe changes in work. Got three fives. Those are changes. So what is this? Ten of cups? What is the ten of cups? Six of swords, the eight of coins, and the ten of coins. Some of you may be changing your jobs, definitely. Maybe a job change involved with this reading. Maybe something either unexpected with the Four of Cups or something you really weren't, um, well, it seems to make you happy. You don't think it's gonna make you happy, but it could lead to love with the Ten of Cups. So again, I feel like this most of this reading, maybe you work with this person, they were hoping you guys would work, work together, but Whatever is happening for you, there's some something new and it's good. And this other person, though, it doesn't want to see you go. Yeah, the four of coins on your side, this could be how you're viewing the other person and how they're viewing you is the five of coins. That's okay. It's how they view you. It doesn't mean you're out in the cold. You might be. Maybe they put you out in the cold, and but then this new opportunity is coming in and you're not going to be out in the cold for much longer because it could be that you gave... You offered them a cup and they said no. And that's why you're heartbroken and that's why you're walking away. And now they think you're out in the cold, but what's in reality, you're not going to be out in the cold. Something new is coming in. What is the Four of Coins? Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Okay, remember, this is how you view this person. So I feel like this person may be playing mind games with you. Like, this is someone who really does have feelings for you, but they act like they don't care because they think, oh, you'll always be around. Oh, you'll come back to them. So Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, this kind of feels like arrogant energy. Um, again, because he's not going very fast in that boat, right? Where is he going? So, but Four of Coins, again, I think they're, they're energetically still hanging on. Now, they view you as the Five of Coins. Star, High Priestess, and the Five of Cups. This person, Six of Cups, this person over here is arrogant. This person over here thinks you're going to go back to them. This person, actually, I think... They probably think you're hanging on the four of coins and you're out in the cold. They think you're always going to be around, that you're going to come back to them, that they are your wish fulfilled, which is not true. Maybe it is right now watching this, but it won't be by the end of the month. This person always expects that, again, doesn't matter what they do, you'll be there for them, you still want to be with them. That's not going to happen this time around because this is how they view you. Like you're hoping that this relationship will work. This is a not this is not a nice person over here to, for that to show up. And again, that's what I got here. They're not they're really hanging on to you. I feel like this person you're dealing with is codependent and maybe plays a lot of mind games, but they're not really leaving you, but I think you're gonna leave them. You have an opportunity that's probably coming in for you that you manifested that's gonna help you get out of this relationship. Again, it may be a job that you have to move for by the stores. It does look like something you want. It could cause this person now to feel overwhelmed with the Ten of Wands. Now they're like, oh my gosh, they're losing you. They could be arguing. But you're going to get what you want. You're going to get your way. What is the potential outcome? Okay, Nine of Wands. So someone's, someone, it could be a King of Coin who's you're dealing with. Someone is coming towards you, but they're coming as a knight. So I'm assuming it's this person over here. What is the Knight of Wands energy? Two of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Wands. The Seven of Swords. Yeah. Again, I get this person still plays games. They may not even believe that you're moving on. But again, once you go, I think they may... They, this is going to overwhelm them. Overwhelm them, And I think they would go as far as to lie, the Seven of Swords. They'd go as far as to say things that aren't, that aren't true to keep you to stay. Um... Or again, you may be telling them and seven of swords, look at the smirk on this guy's face. Maybe this is divine justice finally after being mistreated by this person for so long. And maybe it's your way of getting back at them. Uh, let's just face it. That's, you know, harm is a bitch. And so you may have been very loyal to this person for a long time and they were not loyal to you. And now it's kind of like it is what it is. What's the seven of swords? Six of coins. Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Coin. Yeah, see, I kind of feel like it's them. I mean, we all we all want to get justice. I mean, let's just face it. But I kind of feel like this is them. Like I originally felt like they may say something. Like 
breadcrumbing you, not giving you a lot. And then what uh, the page, I mean, he's just looking at this tiny little coin. Like, that's it? So this person may say, like, oh, you know, we'll get back together, honey, and that things will work out, and, you know, I'll do this and that and this and that. Because look at world, something's over. They're racing in with a new idea. Again, this is probably your new option. Because remember originally that world wanted to fall out of the deck. So a situation is completely over. It is over. You're moving on and happy. This person, I think, is going to be floored. Let me see what's coming out in the romance. I didn't really see a romantic situation unfolding here, but definitely could be. You have, it's safe for you to love. Worth waiting for, yeah, an attraction. Okay, so flirt, yeah. So it's kind of like you are at the beginning stages of a relationship. Someone's attracted to you. All right, let me go to the Gilded and see if the Gilded one is, wants to say anything about this particular relationship or person. Okay, what is it, what, what else do we need to talk about this situation? Ace of Swords, a new beginning, Four of Swords, the Fool, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Swords. I think you're going to be the one happy, and I think this person, the Page of Swords, is going to see that. Uh, what is the Four of Swords? It looks like you don't have to rush, though, and do anything. You, things will just unfold with the Four of Swords. You don't really... Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Coins, and the Nine of Wands, and the King of Wands. So that could be your energy. I don't know if this is them or... Yeah, cause I feel like you have money coming in for you guys. It almost looks like it's more about money or work, a new job, something like that, as opposed to love right here. But there's definitely communication coming in. Because that this is what was next. Page of Wands and the Ace of Coin. What is the Page of Swords? Judgment, yeah, Three of Swords, Three of Wands, Two of Swords. This person doesn't want to see the reality of the situation. So I get the Three of Cups as you being happy and celebrating. And what's going to happen as they see things unfold for you, probably online or whatever. Um, this person feels like someone who never expressed how they felt or still feel, but it feels like they're never going to. This doesn't feel like someone who's going to turn it around suddenly and, and and let down their guard and, and ego and tell you what they're what they're doing or why they you know how they feel again i feel like they don't want to see that their heart is hurting that they messed up they should have said something that it's over so they're gonna be disappointed again maybe you worked with them ten of coins and now you're starting something brand new with the ace of coins Again, like I keep saying, sorry, I'm repeating myself. So anyways, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Congratulations on whatever this is. Enjoy. I'm going to leave it here. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.